anyone with a green thumb knows that it takes both skill and patience to make a garden flourish. It also helps to have the proper tools on hand. An avid gardener's arsenal can contain everything from shears, trimmers, and pruners to rakes, hoes, and spades. The handles of these garden tools are made of white ash, a sturdy wood that can withstand the force of shoveling, digging, or raking. These dried ash dowels measure half a meter to two meters long, depending on the tool being made. They first enter what's called the chucking line, where specially designed automated machines shape them into handles. The first operation rounds the dowels to the required diameter, four centimeters or so, depending on the tool. The next operation cuts the dowels to the required length and profiles their ends. Two chucking heads, one on each side, carve the ends simultaneously. One shapes the bottom of the handle to fit the tool's blade. Certain blades go over the wooden handle while others go into it. For those inserted blades, another chucking head hollows out the handle. Meanwhile, the chucking head on the other side rounds off the top of the handle. The finished handles spin against a sanding belt as they exit the chucking line. This smooths the surface of the wood, preparing the handles for a coat of protective varnish. High-end shovels and spades have what's called a steel D-grip, a steel handle grip with a wooden insert. An automated lathe first shapes a piece of ash to the right length and profile. Then an automated drill pierces a hole. To make the sides of the grip, workers begin with two pre-cut pieces of steel called blanks. They place them in a manually operated press that shapes them in a two-step process. They use the heat of a strong electrical current to melt the steel and fuse the pieces together. This is called resistance welding. Next, they feed a steel rivet through the sides and wooden insert and fasten everything together. Elsewhere in the factory, meanwhile, a heated forming machine stamps out the steel blanks that workers will shape into blades. A robotic arm loads the blanks into an oven. In a mere four minutes, the oven heats the steel to almost a thousand degrees Celsius. This intense heat makes the metal malleable. Workers then take out and shape one blank at a time. They have just a few seconds to form the steel before it cools off. The first press forms the blade, in this case a shovel, and a partial socket. Then the second press closes the socket. They quickly submerge the blade in lukewarm water to cool the metal down. By now, the steel is extremely brittle, so the blades go into what's called a tempering furnace for 15 minutes. This alters the metal's internal structure, restoring its strength. The steel D-grip, meanwhile, has been cleaned and painted. Workers insert the wooden handle and nail the parts together. On the other end, they attach the blade, which by now has been varnished to prevent corrosion. After drilling a hole through both the metal and the wood, they fasten the blade using a rivet if it's a high-end tool, a nail if it's a budget model. These hot-off-the-press garden tools are finally ready to put in a hard day's work. <laughs>